Only a few manufacturers have focused on the safety aspect. This is going to change here and now. Have a look. We have brought this C30 electric here to show the world how a safe electric car should look after a severe offset collision in 40 miles per hour. Why are we doing this? Well, it's very simple, because we are Volvo. We like people, we care about them, we study them, we listen to them very carefully before we design cars around them. Today, more and more customers are asking for fuel efficiency. But their search for sustainable mobility doesn't mean that people are prepared to compromise with the pure joy of owning a contemporary luxury car. Why should they? Our C30 electric doesn't compromise. It is just as comfortable, fun to drive, and very important, safe as any other Volvo. We tested this C30 electric in our state-of-the-art crash lab in Gothenburg, Sweden, a few weeks ago. And we are very pleased with the outcome. The front deformed and distributed the crash energy as we expected. Both the batteries and the cable were completely intact after the collision. This is extremely important to make sure that we avoid gas leakage, fire and short circuit in the high voltage system. And the signals from the crash dummies translate into minor injury risks if this accident would have occurred out in real traffic. The results in this test demonstrate our leadership within car safety. Our focus on real-life safety means that our stringent test program includes most accident scenarios that can happen in real-life traffic conditions. On top of full-scale frontal tests, we have also carried out an extensive job identifying several other important tests with the C30 electric, such as side and rear collisions, and driving the front of the car into a rigid pole in a high speed. To reach the same world-class safety level in the electric version as in the standard C30 is quite a challenge. Our approach is charged with more than 80 years of dedication and knowledge. From a safety engineering perspective, there are major differences between a traditional car and an electric vehicle. Yeah. Let's start in the front of the car. The combustion engine in a standard C30 works as a load distributor in a front of collision. The much more compact electric engine in the battery-powered car needs some backup to take over this important task. The compact size gives us space to add an additional front structure that does the distribution job well. The new structure also absorbs the additional crash energy that comes from the high weight created by the battery pack. To give the C30 electric an operating range up to 95 miles requires a sizable battery package. It takes up much more space than the fuel tank it replaces. The car also uses a high-voltage electric system to feed the engine with power. It is crucial that all these electronic components with 400 volts are protected from being damaged in a collision. The result of our research and Volvo ingenuity is crystal clear here. Absolutely. Since the batteries have a limited capacity to withstand damage, they must be placed in the central part of the car, completely separated from the crumple zones and the occupants. We use traditional fuel tank position and the tunnel area. The batteries have a sturdy encapsulation. Steel beams and other parts of the structure around them are reinforced. This is important to minimize the risk of deformation also on a side impact. The crash sensor in the car also controls the contactors, and power is 
cut in 50 milliseconds in an accident. And that is done by the same signal that deploys the airbags. The system also has several fuses that cut directly if a ground fault is detected, like a damaged cable coming into contact with the body frame. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very proud to announce that we will bring a C30 electric test fleet over here to the US during this year.